Before removing the turbocharger from the OM656, disconnect the battery. Then unscrew the pressure oil line on the turbocharger and put it aside. Loosen the two long screws on the oil return feed line a half turn. Release the O-ring with a hammer. Then remove the screws completely. Next, take off the coolant feed line and the coolant return line. Close all open lines immediately with stop plugs. Pull the vacuum hose from the pressure cell. Disconnect the electrical connector from the EGR positioner. Undo the plug from the boost pressure regulator. Unscrew the oil return line and remove it. Remove the raw air line. Undo the three screws of the charge airline retainer and remove the retainer. To remove the charge airline, first unscrew the water charge air cooler from the attachment. To do this, simply undo the screws. Unscrew the three upper screws on the attachment of the water charge air cooler. Remove the two screws on the pipe bend of the charge air distributor. And the two screws on the single line of the EGR cooler. The charge air line can now be released by pulling out the water charge air cooler. Separate the charge air line from the flange of the turbocharger. Then undo the screw on the rear bracket of the turbocharger. So to the screw that holds the turbocharger on the cast support. Next undo the clamp that connects the turbocharger to the exhaust manifold. When removing, be sure to replace the clamp, screw and gasket and tighten it with the specified torque. Remove the screw on the bracket of the bypass flap actuator and the oil pressure line. Observe the specified torque when reinstalling. Remove the sealing ring from the front of the turbocharger and undo the pressure line clamp to the pressure sensor. Both must be renewed when reinstalling. Then remove the pressure line from the turbocharger. As a last step, remove the two screws on the coolant line. Get a colleague to help you to lift out the turbocharger.